about. We should be making those masks. We should be moving on those ventilators. We can do that. Why doesn't mm -hmm. he just act like a president? That's a stupid way to say you it. You know, I Donald guess, Trump was really asked on... He... Sorry. Yeah, Go ahead. He's done. No, no, I probably best I don't. He's like Junior Soprano before he shot yeah. Donald Trump. Look at him. It's not... That's the that's not even the worst example. That's just an example. The one down there when he's talking to uh, that lady, I think that one was a struggle too. That was a struggle fest. Recommended period for keeping businesses shut and people at home. Are you at all concerned, as Trump said, yeah, that we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself? We have to take care of the cure. That will make the problem worse, no matter what. No matter what, we know what has to be done. We know you have to would reassess what? the recommended period. Yeah, see, he doesn't know what he's talking about when he's talking. And this is not like this. I'm looking at this like a medical condition. OK, I'm looking at this like, OK, when I'm calling a fight and I see a guy limping and I'm like, I think he hurt his knee. Like Tiago Santos against John Jones. I think he hurt his knee there. I think there's something going on with his knee. Like, that's what I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this like this is a medical issue. That's not a normal way to communicate unless he's high as fuck. Because if I was high, I'd be like, I don't know what I just said to this lady. <laughs> you could be in the middle of one of those interviews, blasted on edibles, going, what are we even talking about? I don't think that's what it is. He's I think he's tired. He's old. He's very old. And I think he can't. It's, it's, he doesn't no, look good either, and they no, got makeup on him. Good. Yeah, he doesn't look good. His skin is all pulled tight like a lizard. He's a, like, like he's got the formaldehyde in him already. It's, it's, <laughs> he looks like he's got the formaldehyde in him already. They it's just, not good. They're going to just press a button. Governor Cuomo. Governor Cuomo right be the answer. St that's the I answer. Like, I love this behavior. I love this attitude so far. Look. And he's been honest. And I'm telling you, if unless you're a fucking idiot, just go to any street corner in New York, you know, look at fucking footage from July. Like, it's too many people. Once, it's too right? many people. It's too you many go, people you stacked go on, on a, top of each other. You go, I couldn't even think about getting on a ferry and going to eat at Rudy's. Ooh. Like, I was staying somewhere on Park Avenue, and I'm like, so I got to get into an Uber, which are fucking filthy in New York. <laughs> okay, when you walk into an Uber... People are sitting in cars with the windows shut, breathing whatever he's breathing. Yep. I open up the car and let the guy's like, "You gonna get in? Yeah, give it a minute." And then <sighs> I would take my handy wipe out and lower the window and close the fucking door before mm -hmm. I got in. When I get on the ferry, I stand outside. I don't sit in there. I breathe that Hudson River air. That's good for you. That's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Disinfectant. All those bodies and shit <laughs> floating in there. And, that fucking Malukia dust in there and pollution, whatever the fuck is in there. But I knew. Look, at within weeks, Teaneck, right? Teaneck was the one that got contaminated. Did they? Fort Lee got it. You know, that that's all my fucking neighborhood. I don't think nobody... Oh, Hoboken was really bad. Hoboken Ho got it bad? Hoboken, the cops had to go in there and fucking... Like, Hoboken was like a party. <laughs> like, Hoboken didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Like, they were fucking just having orgies in Hoboken. Gino told me, you got to see it. Really? So they finally had to go down and they closed Hoboken. Like, you weren't allowed to go into Hoboken. Only people who lived in Hoboken could party in Hoboken. Then they just had to fucking shut it down. Like, Somebody had a meme on their page. It might have been Donnell. I forget who it was. No, it might have been Snoop. I don't remember who it was. But anyway, they had a meme on their page that said, you're telling people you're going to put them in jail if they go out after 8 p.m., but you're letting people out of jail early because they got the coronavirus. And there's someone going, hmm, like what? Like what the fuck? What are you saying? Are you going to lock people <coughs> up, but you're letting people out? First you're of all, if you looked at this whole thing, there's been some weird people who have got tests. They got tests? Like they got tested. Like there's been some weird I people. Do. Like, even Isbin Abbas, whatever his fucking Who? name is. The black dude. <laughs> Isbin Abbas, whatever his fucking name is. Idris Elba. Yeah, the black dude that got shot. Well, he and lives in whatever. England, and he got tested because he was in contact with other people that had it. You know, why the fuck did Harvey get a test? Because he's in Rikers, and Rikers has a, a massive outbreak. No yes. shit. Yeah, he's in Rikers. He's in maximum security. Well, he's, he's in Buffalo now. Oh, did they move they him to that because of them. the corona? He's in a hospital up in Buffalo. He's fucked. Of Buffalo. He's fucked. He probably has no will to to live. You know, I mean, he probably doesn't have a will to get through this. 
I mean, I don't know what kind of medical treatment they're going to give him, but this could do him in easily. It's running rampant. But he's prison. so sick already. You it's... look at the guy, he can barely walk. His health is deteriorating. Oh, that, the stress in this trial killed him. Crushed him. Took killed 20 him. years off his life killed instantly. Him. Killed him. This shit kills you. This is just a death sentence. What are you, I was just saying, we were talking about this yesterday. Imagine if you came up to him four years ago and said, I want to show you your future. Dying in a bed in prison for things you've already done. Right now, you're walking around, toast of the town, getting in limos, climbing out. People are waving to you and cheering. You're getting interviewed on the carpet. Everyone shouts you out. I just want to thank Harvey Weinstein for his amazing, amazing company and the movies you put together that allow me to shine. Yeah. How many people? Have you seen all the people that, that praised him? And then four years later, imagine that. He th the things he's already done. He'd already done them at that point. And they knew while they were praising him. I wonder if what they knew. They knew. They, they knew, knew he something. was a scumbag. They apparently. knew something. They knew. Yeah. They knew. They all knew, dog. You got to assume they all knew. So what the fuck? Yeah. They went back. They knocked on doors. Wait a second. So I raped you. You're going to go to that party. What do you mean? So I raped you at, at a party. Now the next year there's going to be another can festival. And you're going to show up again? And a lot of them did charges. because they yeah. wanted to work. See, the thing about Harvey is apparently, this is Whitney Cummings' take on it. She said he would actually give them the things he would tell them he would give them. So he'd say, hey, you suck my dick. I'm going to make you a star. And he would actually do it. He would actually put them in these movies. He would give them what they, so they were happy. So they would get all this treatment. And then they had to spend some alone time with them every now and then. So they would send them emails, lovey-dovey emails. But really, they hated him. And that's when the, all this came out. He didn't even see it coming because he thought that they loved him. He thought that they would send him these emails. So he sent the emails to the press like, look, look at all these emails. These girls love me. Even though he had done scumbag shit to them. It's just he had it set up where this was how you got by. This is how you made movies. This is how you want to be famous. This is how you get famous. I can help you get famous. You got to help me get rid of some cum. Who do you think sucked his dick? Everyone. Right? I think everyone did. All the you guys, really, too. Really? Every guy. Come on. <laughs> you think Brad Pitt was sniffing his no, nuts? No, I don't think. I think Brad Pitt threatened him because he, uh, right. he made he Gwyneth Paltrow well, feel real uncomfortable, right, apparently. Right. I, I don't know, man. One of the people said the producer did not have symptoms and was under close observation. It was not clear why he had been tested. I'm telling you, there's a lot of shit that mm. don't sound right to me. They don't give, listen, Invix are the last people they care about. Yeah. All right? And the only problem you have with those things 